Vancouver is in the spotlight this week. An entire category on Jeopardy was devoted to the city. The contestants on the popular game show quizzed on West Coast trivia and did pretty well. But can locals say the same? We sent our Andrew Johnson to find out. Andrew, what's the verdict? Did you meet any big winners? Heather Jeopardy asked some tough questions. I mean, it's Jeopardy. A Canadian on the show knew his stuff. The people we spoke to today, results vary. Vancouver, B.C., where the mountains meet the ocean and million-dollar mortgages. But how well do you really know it? That was the challenge for three Jeopardy! contestants this week. No problem for a Greater Toronto teacher. The first sea voyage by this group set sail from Vancouver in 1971 in protest of nuclear testing in Alaska. What is Greenpeace? That's correct. On the Vancouver streets today, some similar success. Think of an environmental group. Greenpeace. You got it. You got Greenpeace. That's easy. Two too. for two. That was the $400 question. The $600, a stumper today on the streets. Do you know? George Vancouver was immortalized after exploring the area in this ship, also the name of the longest serving space shuttle. Ooh. Yeah, I'm lost on this one. Vancouver for a thousand. The city hosted a famous race in the then British Empire and these games. John Landy looked back as Roger Bannister passed him. Commonwealth Games. Four out of five. You're the winner so far. He's the only person we could find who knew that. Everybody's got this one, right? Vancouver's Rogers Arena is the home ice of this team that joined the NHL in 1970. Vancouver Canucks. That's a gimme, isn't it? It is, yeah. Not if you're visiting from the UK. Have you heard of the Canucks? Um, no. <laughs> is it a sweet? The $800 clue for you, Heather. In the 1880s, Vancouver was fortuitously chosen as the western terminal of this transportation system, the CPR, which stands for... 